Hello traders, welcome to today's video, Tuesday the 7th of May 2024. I'm just going to move on to this screen because you don't want to see my face. My eyes are a bit glazed. I'm a bit tired this morning. I was out last night and uh, yeah, it was my birthday so I'm allowed. But um, yeah, Bitcoin analysis. Uh, we had the move up yesterday. I mean, the, the, the video I did yesterday was once we had that spike into the highs and that was where I was looking to take the short position. I didn't take the short position because I did have to go out. But this morning, we have just done our trading room with the crew. And I do consider this to be a potential short that we have here. Now, remember, I am long. I have basically 100% long exposure, um, Bitcoin, altcoins, spot, and perps. And uh, yeah, this for me, any short positions right now are just a hedge against those longs because I don't want to be taking profit on those longs yet. I don't want to be jeeting those trades, just exiting them early or whatever. Just exit early trader jeet. Um, I don't want to do that. Okay, I want to be holding these trades to new all time highs and much, much higher prices. So any short positions I'm taking are simply to hedge against that so that I don't need to reduce the size of the long positions I'm already in. And if we do get a situation where this does roll over and we go down and we make new lows again down here, I will just keep adding to those longs. I am in, I have that kind of conviction right now. Okay, either this is the low or it's very close. I don't care either way. We're going to 100K. You're not bullish enough. And um, yeah, I, the reaction that we've seen from the lows so far to me is a really good sign of strength. And uh, I, I am expecting this to continue higher. So yeah, as I say, the, hedge, the short position right now is just a hedge. But when we look at this from a technical perspective, it's still level to level. Okay, we can see we're trading around the POC here. And I want to see a situation where basically long positions are getting very minimal chance in which to enter. Uh, I'm still open to the idea of a sweep of weekend lows. And then that gets a move up. That is why I have gone into this little short position here. However, the move that we had down yesterday, that first rejection was sufficient. All right, you can see that we have a nice impulse up comes into this four hour gap, you close through that. So you basically <clears throat> invert um, the, the imbalance that was created from this move that gets inverted and price came down, took the liquidity and what it also did, it did fill the CME gap. Okay, so we did have the gap here um, on the CME chart from the close on Friday that has now been filled and we are back testing what is I would consider as important support. So I'm pretty chill. Like if this is if that's as low as it goes, and we go higher from here, then I'm quite happy about that, and um, I am positioned to profit from more upside. Um, where we are here at the moment, so locally, okay, we did uh, take out some local highs again. This is the reason for taking a little scalp short position. Um, but if we're holding this weekly open here, it looks pretty good. And uh, this, I would not be surprised to see this continue to float up and take out uh, the previous day highs, right? Um, and then maybe we do get a, a bit more of a sharp projection from there. But overall, um, yeah, a bit more of a range bound day, still trading within this fairly tight range here. If we go from like, this is essentially the range we're trading in, we're back up towards the highs. There was that little deviation yesterday, uh, but that did come and take out the range lows afterwards. So yeah, back back towards the midpoint point of control of the range, uh, previous week point of control here, and uh, a ton of other stuff. Anything else that is worth mentioning? Um, I'm going to keep this fairly short, this video. Uh, we've got the EMAs. So we did bounce into that 200 EMA on the four hour, but we have the 50 acting as support here. If this can get some continuation higher, then we're likely to see that golden cross again on the EMAs, which would be pretty bullish, um, which just again cements the bias that we are likely going higher from here. Um, yeah, and overall that is that. If we're looking at the order flow and the ETF stuff, we had another day of nice inflows on the ETFs. And once again, we did see that GBTC was a buyer yesterday. So the second day in a row, the GBTC have bought. So the first time ever that there was GBTC inflows um, on Monday, and then that continued yesterday. Uh, IB, IBIT getting some nice volume as well. And across the board, um, yeah, a nice, nice day of inflows once again here. 
Uh, we still have funding is neutral slash negative. So um, short positions are probably more likely to get squeezed here. That's why I'm only taking a, any shorts as a hedge. <coughs> we still have this spot premium. And that again, bullish, right? <laughs> Everything's bullish. And yesterday when we were looking at the CVD, then we could see here, I did mention this in yesterday's video, that it was a perps led rally and that it was likely that that rally would correct. That has since corrected. We are starting to build some bullish divergences at these lows here. So therefore, I, I am looking for some strength. I'd like to see it come from the spot market, but I am looking for more strength and higher prices at this stage. So although having taken a little short position today, it's a small fraction of the long exposure that I do have, and it will simply be a... Um, it, a, instead of taking profits um, so that I can compound better if we do get uh, low. And if we do come down and I get an opportunity to compound, then I can compound with the profit that I've made from the short, if that makes sense. So that's basically it. And if we continue higher from here, then I'm not losing money because my long exposure is more than my short exposure. So therefore, uh, I consider it to be as long as, as long as I don't get stopped on the short and then it dumps, then um, yeah, money, <laughs> making money, which is good. Um, other than that, yeah, I think altcoins are looking pretty good. And uh, there are some particular altcoins. We did our trading room with the crew this morning. And thanks to, I think it was Andy, uh, pointed out a couple of alts that were looking very, very tasty, uh, especially on the daily. So first of all, we look at Audi. So Audi came down, uh, took out major lows here on the charts and then came down once again to take out these range lows. So we're looking at a real decent area of accumulation here um between that like 37 to 40 dollars and what we also have there is this daily gap so if we're looking at this just zone here on the chart then for me this looks like a really decent area of accumulation you can be looking for long positions okay um invalidation will be at this low we're looking at that as being the spring the invali um the deviation from the lows and then you can be targeting once again we'll see where this goes but at least at the very least highs then a big gap above and then if the market continues in the direction that I am anticipating that it will, then we can be looking at much higher prices and new all-time highs up towards $100 on that. <coughs> Another really nice one, ENA, USDT, uh, that is over here. Once again, looking really nice, uh, swept some lows, nice rounded bottom on this. I think I drew this as a bit, a bit of a left curve chart. There we go, left curve. Make it dumb, dumb it down, make some money. Um, nice, nice rounded bottom, looking for a decent move up on this. I'm not gonna go into too much more detail on that. Alt layer, USDT, another one I'm watching very closely. Again, um, this being on the daily. So it came down into really important support. You've got this daily gap, it's holding here, and this has been previous support recently. So again, we're looking at this as a situation where you have this accumulation. So for any of you Wyckoff people, uh, we have a decent accumulation range. This acting as the spring, nice reaction off of the spring, coming back into your reference point, which is the where we had support previously. And yeah, finding some some decent support here. What I would be looking for as a, as a real sign of strength here would be to get back above this VWAP and to claim it as support. So if it can get back above here, start to hold above that like 38, 39 cents, then I would be looking for continuation higher on this. And then, yeah, the, the trades that I'm already in, uh, JTO, USDT, dot P, uh, continuing on nicely. And that's pretty much everything I want to say. I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, like I said, I've already done a, we did like two hours of trading room this morning. And my voice is already a bit sore. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. A nice short one today. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, please give it a like, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Please give it a like and a retweet and a comment and all of those things if you're watching this on, on X, on Twitter. And yeah, have a great day. See you very soon. Bye-bye.